Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and this is your daily tech tip. This is how to fix a circuit board when it's cracked or broken. All right, and I got a meter right here. And when I put my two leads together, I get a beep, showing that I got a connection. All right, so I want to touch this side of the board, and here's the crack right here. I want to touch this side of the board. If I don't get a beep, that means there's no connection. And of course, there's no connection. There's a crack, crack right there. So it should, you should hear that. So we're going to fix that. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's real easy. You get a sandpaper, get a 40 watt solder gun with a thin tip. <clears throat> get some thin solder like this. You use a speaker wire like this one. I don't know if you can see that. Something like this. That would work. So I'm going to help go ahead and show you. First things first, you want to get sandpaper and sand down the ends. Once you sand down the ends, do not touch it with your finger because you got oils on your finger and the solder won't stick to the board. So do not touch this area right here. Make sure you just solder it. Next thing, you want to heat it up right here. Once you heat it up, you want to go ahead and lay the solder down, just like that. So now we got solder on the board. We're prepping the board, just like that. It doesn't have to be pretty because, you know, no one's going to see it. Next thing you want to do is get the um, speaker wire and when you get the speaker wire go ahead and grab it with this with your sandpaper get that laid in there and go ahead and just squeeze and slide it out don't do it too tight and it'll break it so what that does is you're cleaning you're cleaning your speaker wire, oxidation and all that. So let's go ahead and heat it up. So you want to hold down, make sure you hold the plastic part, hold the plastic part of the speaker wire so you don't burn your finger because it, um, the heat will transfer, transfer throughout the whole entire wire and burn your finger. So hold it at the end. Don't hold the metal part. And then what you want to do is just lay it right there. And just slide it across. Just wipe it across, just like that. See how I did that? Just, just wipe it across. That's it. All right, and let hold it there for a good like 20 seconds. Some people say uh, blow on it. Some people say don't blow on it, but. I blow on it. I don't know. I never had an issue. And then what you do is you want to twist that off. What you could do is also you could bend it back. And when you bend it back, you just apply a little bit more solder. Right about there. So make sure, do not, do not, if there's another trace right here, do not um, overflow the solder onto the other trace. You short everything out. You want to make sure everything is in line. And then just double check your work. What you can do also at the very end is uh, make sure with the meter, if you have a voltmeter like I do, you want to touch one end right here and then touch the other end and then that's a good connection now also if there's another trace let's say there's another trace nearby well you want to touch one end and then touch the other end of the trace and make sure it's not shorted out because sometimes it's real tedious and very skinny lines like uh, like for example these up here they're very very 
hard to solder. You can see that right there. So if one of these, if one of these or three of these are broken, you want to make sure they're not soldered together, those two traces, because you'll short everything out. And the way to um, do it is just when you're done soldering it, you can actually get a razor and then just run it alongside of each trace to break apart the, um, the traces if they're accidentally soldered together. It's FYI. All right, that's pretty much it. That's how to fix a cracked so um, circuit board. Thanks, guys. Subscribe, share, like.